So today you're going to be doing the UV-Vis experiment um, with your synthesized gold nanoparticles. So the first step is you're going to need to prepare the chlorooric acid. Chlorooric acid is highly corrosive, so you're going to need to use a plastic transfer pipette to measure and weigh out the chlorooric acid. To do this, you can just cut the plastic pipette into a scoop. So when you get to lab, the first thing you should do is turn on the instrument. Press this button to warm up the lamps, and you'll need to let this warm up for 8 to 10 minutes before taking a spectrum. To turn on the software, select the online version of the UVVIS instrument. And when the dialog box prompting an operator name and password comes up, select cancel. To ensure that the instrument um, program is set up correctly, we will need to go to method and then select spectrum peaks to measure the full spectrum. And then we'll want to uncheck valley and peaks and then display the spectrum from 190 to 1100 nanometers. And then select OK. Now we're ready to take the blank spectrum. Fill the cuvette with double distilled water for the background, and it should be about two-thirds of the way full. And then we're ready to place it in the sample compartment. So ensure that the arm is up so that you can put the cuvette in the compartment. And then place the cuvette in, and press the arm down to lock it into place. Now we're ready to take the blank spectrum. Before you collect the spectrum, make sure that both lights are on. To do this, you'll want to go to Instrument, and then select Lamps, and then ensure that both the deuterium lamp and the tungsten lamps are on. After that, you're ready to collect the blank. To do this, just click the blank button on the screen and wait for the sample to collect. In your chlorooric acid and water solution, you want to make sure that it's at a rolling boil, like shown here, and that it is not just boiling around the stir rod. Also, it is important to make sure you add all of your sodium citrate solution at one time when your solution is boiling, otherwise your gold nanoparticles will not be synthesized properly. This is the, um, what your final solution of the gold nanoparticles would look like. It should look like a very deep, rich wine red. Now we're ready to measure the extinction of the synthesized nanoparticles. Fill the cuvette with the nanoparticles about two-thirds of the way full and then place that into the sample compartment so we can take a measurement. Okay. Now that we're ready to collect the sample, we can do that. Just um, select the sample button and we will get a spectrum. This is the extinction of the nanoparticles. So we need to save the spectrum. So you will click it until it's highlighted, and you can see that it's highlighted by these um, diamonds. And then go to File, Save, Save Sample As, and save the, S, uh, the spectrum file into a public file. So you'll want to go to the C drive, and then Users, Public, Public Documents, and then save it in the class folder. You'll also want to um, export this as a CSV file so that you can use it in the computer lab downstairs on Origins or Microsoft Excel. So to do that, make sure your spectrum is still highlighted. Go to File, Export Selected Spectrum As, and then select CSV File. And then name it something that you can recognize and save it in your H drive so that you can access it on any of the on-campus computers. After you've saved your file, you'll need to delete the spectrum that's present so that you can take another sample. So just make sure it's still highlighted and click on Delete Selected Sample. Once you are done collecting the blank spectrum and the synthesized nanoparticles spectrum, you can prepare the rest of your solutions. It is really handy to use this cuvette holder for all of your solutions, and you can just label them with the appropriate hydrogen peroxide concentrations. It is important to note that you need to add the solutions in the exact order 
as they are listed in the lab manual. So to your uh, synthesized gold nanoparticles, you first are going to add the distilled water. Next, you are going to add the phosphate buffer. And lastly, you will add the chlorooric acid. If you are adding hydrogen peroxide solution to this cuvette, it is important that as soon as you add the hydrogen peroxide to the cuvette, you cap it and invert it very quickly. It is also important to note that if you're adding the hydrogen peroxide, that you, after you cap and invert, you let the reaction go for five minutes before collecting the sample spectrum. After you are finished collecting all of your sample spectra for all of the known and the unknown hydrogen peroxide solutions, you can clean up your solution. All you need to do is to put all of the solutions in the appropriate waste container and label of UV this. Also make sure you log out of the software, um, log out of the computer, and make sure you shut the instrument lamps off before you leave.